Well, good afternoon. This is Michael. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite books of last year. This was Blood Music by Greg Bear. Uh, body horror at its finest. Uh, let's find out what I liked about it. Virgil Ulam was the genius behind biologic, the restructuring of cells, cells that can think. When Genetron cancelled the project, Virgil smuggled his life's work out of the lab the only way he knew how. He injected himself with them. At first, the effects of the intelligent lymphocytes were small miracles. His eyesight, his overall health, even his sex life improved. But now, something strange is happening. Virgil's concocted cells are capable of forming complex organisms and eventually whole societies in his blood and body. He carries a universe within himself, a universe of cells, and they think it's time for a change. Okay, so that is the premise for the book. Uh, so yeah, we're following Virgil um, as he injects this uh, pretty much smart intelligent cells that he's developed in the lab. He smuggles them out of the laboratory in himself and they slowly are starting to evolve and take control of his body. Uh, they start doing, uh, perfecting things and making him stronger and healthier. And uh, it is quite frightening how quickly things uh, escalate from when he first injects them to what happens later on. So this was my favorite book of 2023. Um, it sort of mixed things that I love the most about uh, sci-fi and horror. Uh, it was body horror and it is sort of expansive sci-fi thought about uh, what we think of ourselves as our bodies and our place within the universe itself. Um, I highly recommend this book. Um, I enjoyed it from start to finish. I'm not going to go into any spoilers because I don't want to spoil the story for people to read this, but it has body horror, then it expands from, you know, within Virgil, within his character, uh, to the point where it starts expanding outwards into the real world and and the consequences of that. Um, so yeah, I found it very thrilling. Um, if you like the movie Contagion, where you're sort of seeing different storylines going at once of how things are getting affected, I, I also saw a bit of that in there as well. Uh, part of the reason I did enjoy it was that it did jump from the different storylines back and forth, so other things are happening while other things are happening in other parts of the world. So touching base on the body horror aspect, it really is something where you have something inside of you that you can't control that is slowly changing your body and evolving things and eventually starting to communicate with you. Uh, so there's things inside of Virgil that are growing intelligent and self-aware and they are talking to him and they want out. Uh, so yeah, it's it's very, very thrilling. Um, I gave this five stars because I found it to be uh, probably one of the best books I read last year. And if you love body horror and you want to have some sci-fi aspect to it, this is a good gateway to that. Um, this is my first Great Bear book. Um, I've since bought a bunch of his books because I'm going to dive into them over the next couple of years. Uh, very well written. This was originally published in 1985, which was, I think, it was developed from a short story that came out a couple years earlier. Um, but yeah, very well done. Very riveting. Uh, I would definitely recommend this book. Uh, structurally, the way the book is broken up as well is you're sort of following the different phases of this biological organism uh, and how it started and the phases it goes to it evolves. Um, it has a brilliant and beautiful ending uh, that kept me sort of uh, guessing what's going to happen next and I really enjoyed it and I felt it was very conclusive and sort of uh, gave sort of a, a, a nice pointed point about where we stand within our universe and the size of it and how small things can get and how small we are within the universe itself and how the human body essentially is a universe as well. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed that. And um, again, five stars. Go find this book. I highly recommend it. 
read it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. So, okay, that's it for today. Uh, I'm happy to say I wasn't coughing and horribly sick afterwards. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll start getting some more videos out of stuff that I've been reading and uh, talking about soon. So, uh, thanks for everyone who's been uh, supportive of me for the last few months uh, as I've uh, dealt with health issues and, you know, just general sloth. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later and uh, have a good rest of your week. Bye.